In Activity 4, Melting Ice, students investigate melting, the change in state of a solid to a liquid, by observing a piece of ice. They first discuss the variables that affect the rate of melting, and then begin a changing states chart on which they record the effect of heat on changing states of matter. From the kit, you will need Activity Sheet 4, Changing States Chart, Plastic 1 ounce Cups, and Plastic Trays. You will also need to provide clock, black felt tip marker, paper towels, and tap water. To prepare for session one, make a copy of activity sheet four for each student. The day before the activity, prepare 16 one ounce cups of ice. Every team will receive identical amounts of ice according to the volume of water you selected from the amounts listed on the chart in figure 4-1. To begin session one, give each team of two a paper towel and a cup of ice and ask students, what state of matter is the ice? Students should identify ice's state of matter as solid. Then ask, do you think this ice can change to a different state? What do you think can happen to it? Students will probably know ice can change to water. Do not confirm or deny their guesses at this time. Next. Give each student a copy of Activity Sheet 4 and tell students that they are going to observe their ice samples and record their observations. Every 10 to 15 minutes, have students check their ice, record the time, and what they see happen to the ice. Make sure to record on the class data chart the time at which each team's ice melted. To prepare for Session 2, draw a chart and label it Activity 4 Class Data Chart as shown in Figure 4-2. Place the chart where it can be left for use in later activities. Then, hang the changing states chart where students can easily see it and where the chart can also be left throughout the course of the module. Students will need to observe their ice samples frequently and record the exact time that it takes the ice to melt completely. Since this may take two hours or more, have students complete other class work while they observe the melting process. To begin session two, when all the ice samples have melted, ask students to explain what happened to the solid ice in their cups. Students should respond that the ice has turned to water. Ask students, what state is this material now? Students should recognize this state as liquid. Next, introduce the term melting and explain to students that melting is the process by which a solid changes to a liquid. Ask students, what do you think made the ice melt, changing it from a solid to a liquid? Encourage them to think of other times they have seen solids melt, such as ice cream, icicles, or candles. Students should understand that the ice melted because it was in a warm place. Lead students to conclude that heat must be added to a solid to make it melt. Then, have students complete their activity sheets. Help students determine the total amount of time it took their ice sample to melt. Show students the class data chart on the board and instruct each team to fill in the amount of time it took for their ice sample to melt. They should observe that not every ice sample melted in the same amount of time. Ask, why do you think the times were different? Students may suggest that some samples were in warmer spots than others, or the students may have held the cups in their hands. Tell the class that a variable is a condition or factor that might affect the results of an experiment. Ask students what variables may have affected this experiment and lead them to notice that each of the variables is related to heat. Then ask, how could you control these variables? Students may suggest keeping conditions such as temperature and contact with the ice samples as much the same as possible. Point out the changing states chart and identify the three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Ask, what information can we add to the chart? Students should suggest that solids melt and change into liquids when heat is added. Finally, draw an arrow with the marker on the chart from solid to liquid and write melting above the arrow. Add plus heat above the word liquid to indicate that heat must be added to a solid to change its state to a liquid. To conclude the activity, pour out the water and dry the cups, then return them to the kit. Make sure to leave the class data and changing states charts up for future activities. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.